The sources for this video and the one before include Wikipedia only when the numbers are associated with sources on the bottom that I can verify are correct. So the sources include Healthline, NCBI, Psychology Today, Stanford's Encyclopedia, Psychology.net, LA Times, The New York Times, Reuters, FamousScientist.org, TourEgypt.net, PsychCentral.com as well as some government websites that have to do with the FDA and others. There's some more actually. Medicine.net, PsychTheClinics.com, HealthyPlace.com. A lot of these have studies of Tai Chi, health and disease prevention, and they show that Tai Chi, which is based on principles that go back for over 10,000 years from Africa, India, China, and Tibet, um, that Qigong has been proven to prevent and treat so-called mental disorders, which those of you who have seen the first video know that I don't agree with the definitions of mental disorders. We talked about Emil Kaplan, um, who broke away from Sigmund Freud's theory, who started to define manic depressive, which became bipolar disorder. Um, Psychology Today, NCPI, Healthline, is where you can find these articles. Um, FamousScientist.org talks about Emil Kaplan's history um, and how he held the belief that biological genetic disorders cause psychiatric illness. Um, we look at the history of eugenics, eugenics in this country. We're the ones who gave Nazis the principles for their Nazi science. Uh, Margaret Sanger, Francis Galton coined the term. He was Charles Darwin's cousin. As you can see, it has to do with evolution, it has to do with DNA and genetics, and the people in charge feeling that they're in charge because their genetics are superior. I'd like to go over the timeline again to keep you informed and end it there. 1808, we have coins tied psychiatry. 1875, Kaplan toys manic depressive, which becomes bipolar disorder. 39 to 45, World War II, Nazi science on the Jews. 65, Franz Coleman dies, and he's the one who pioneered the genetic studies for mental disorders. So he studied on the Nazi science for World War II in Germany. 1987, Prozac approved. In 1989, the Berlin Wall comes down. America done. America was done looting Nazi science. We see the Project Paperclip, which is on record, a real operation that took place, as well as MK Ultra, a real operation that took place. You see the Milgram's experiment and the Stanford experiments that my point of view is justified and verified. You can tell by their experience, experiments and the, and the results of the experiments where they're going with this thing.